Chapter 1. In this video, we will explore a hypothetical scenario of what would happen if World War II occurred today. We will delve into the intricate details and analyze the potential outcomes of this modern-day conflict. So let's dive right in and imagine the unfolding events. Chapter 2. In this alternate timeline, the world is vastly different from the 1940s. Technological advancements have revolutionized warfare and global alliances have shifted. The major players in this hypothetical conflict are the United States, Russia, China, and the European Union. Chapter 3. As tensions rise, the spark that ignites the war is a territorial dispute between Russia and the European Union over the Baltic states. This dispute escalates rapidly, leading to a full-scale military confrontation. Chapter 4. Russia, with its formidable military capabilities, launches a surprise attack on the European Union swiftly capturing key strategic locations. The EU, caught off guard, struggles to mount an effective defense. Chapter 5. Seeing the conflict escalate, the United States, bound by NATO commitments, joins the European Union's defense efforts. The U.S. deploys its advanced military assets and begins a series of counter-offensives against the Russian forces. Chapter 6. China, observing the chaos, seizes the opportunity to expand its influence in the Asia-Pacific region. It launches an invasion of Taiwan, aiming to assert dominance over the disputed territory. Chapter 7. In response to China's aggression, the United States diverts some of its military resources to aid Taiwan. This decision weakens the U.S.-European Union alliance giving Russia an advantage in Europe. Chapter 8. Meanwhile, the European Union, with the support of the United States, manages to regroup and launch a counteroffensive against the Russian forces. The EU's advanced technology and combined military strength begin to turn the tide. Chapter 9. As the war progresses, alliances begin to shift. Recognizing the threat posed by China, Russia forms a temporary alliance with the European Union. Their common goal is to contain China's expansionist ambitions. Chapter 10. With the U.S.-European Union alliance weakened, China takes advantage of the situation and launches a massive cyber attack on the United States. This attack disrupts critical infrastructure and hampers the U.S. military's capabilities. Chapter 11. Despite the cyber attack, the United States manages to maintain a strong defense and retaliates with its own cyber capabilities. This cyber warfare escalates, causing significant damage to both sides. Chapter 12. In the midst of the chaos, the European Union and Russia make significant progress in pushing back Chinese forces. The combined military might of these two powers proves to be a formidable obstacle for China. Chapter 13. Realizing the dire situation, China seeks a diplomatic solution and proposes a ceasefire. The European Union and Russia, having achieved their primary objectives, agree to the ceasefire. Chapter 14. With the war drawing to a close, the world assesses the aftermath. The European Union and Russia emerge as the victors, having successfully defended their territories and contained China's expansion. Chapter 15. The United States, although weakened by the cyber attack, remains a global superpower. It focuses on rebuilding its infrastructure and strengthening its cyber defenses to prevent future attacks. Chapter 16, the aftermath of the war leads to a reshaping of global alliances. The European Union and Russia form a long-term partnership, solidifying their influence in Europe and the surrounding regions. Chapter 17, China, humbled by its defeat, reevaluates its expansionist ambitions and adopts a more cooperative approach in international affairs. It seeks to rebuild its relationships and focus on economic development. Chapter 18. The world, scarred by the devastating conflict, learns valuable lessons from the war. Nations prioritize diplomacy, cooperation, and the pursuit of peaceful resolutions to prevent a repeat of such a catastrophic event. Chapter 19. In conclusion, if World War II were to happen today, the European Union and Russia would emerge as the victors successfully defending their territories and containing China's expansionist ambitions. Chapter 20. Thank you for joining me on this journey through a hypothetical modern-day World War II. Remember, this scenario is purely speculative, but it serves as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy and cooperation in maintaining global peace.